Hello class, welcome to the videos about this elevation. Uh, in this one we're pretty much going to finish up most of the drawing of this elevation, uh, doing siding and railing and, and those things before we get into notes and printing. Um, now one thing I did do off camera is I added the door to this elevation. You should be able to do that yourself using the same basic principles that we use for windows, using the same basic rules of dimensions for things that aren't clearly explained. Go ahead and give it your best shot. Re keep in mind I talked about how the heads are going to align between windows and doors as well. So if you look at the drawing you'll actually notice that, or if you look at plan, of course there's railing across this whole way here. Um, but if you look at the drawing we've given you, we've made the note, and we'll get into this in a following drawing, but we've made the note uh, really not shown for clarity purposes, uh, so it doesn't get in the way of all this stuff. So we're, really we're only going to add the railing over here, and that's that's what I want to want to go to next. Uh, so we're going to going to do it right here, and I'm just going to so I'm going to zoom into this part of the drawing, and I'm going to offset my top rail at three feet. So I'm going to offset hit the offset button, type in three foot, enter and uh, jump that up. And then the bottom of the railing is usually about four inches clear, so I'm going to leave four inches clear to set the bottom of my railing, so I'll offset that four inches, and I'll offset that up. Now, this is getting a little, uh, like, because these lines are really extending quite far, so really the railing's going to go from this edge of the column to this edge of the column, so I'm going to use trim, and I'm going to select this line and select this line to be my cutting trimming edges and hit enter and then I'm going to click these lines that I clicked out here before um, to, to remove them and hit enter and I'm going to set these two lines to green because they're now sort of inside the column lines so they're not quite as strong of an edge um, so I'll just do match properties select a green line and select the top edge and the bottom edge. And I'll start building this now. I think the way this railing was sort of constructed was the railing itself was about an inch thick. So I'm going to offset that one inch down. And then it had some trim that was about three inches. So I'm going to offset three, enter. I'll set that down. And then the, there's the same trim on the bottom side, so another three inches, so offset. It should be set to three, so I can hit enter, and then I'm going to select this bottom line and pull up. Oops, let me try that again. Select the bottom line, pull up, hit enter, and then, again, just the outside edges of the railing want to be green. I want to step it down in line weight from there, so I'm going to select those three lines and change it to color two. Uh, there we go. Um, <clears throat> color two and I'll come back and trim this because there might be a railing at this line this is the wall edge behind it I'm not sure so we'll go and see see how that works out as we're going now the one thing I want to point out is and this is always a little tricky when you're sort of doing something that has a lot because these posts are this the same trim it's going to be three inches for the post but the spacing is going to be four inches which is typical in railing and so you have this uneven equal of spacing and so when you want to get it so that there's an e in the in the spacing the hole is left over right and so this isn't who knows what number that is I don't know but it's less than three it's less than four it's less than the typical so it's setting up the geometries of how to do that there's multiple ways of doing that the simplest one that is for this assignment is that I can clearly see that the center point is at a hole of a four inches so I'm gonna I'm gonna base it off the center and work each way or really work one way and then mirror the whole whole object there are other ways that's easier because I can see what it's supposed to be it could be that the rail was supposed to be in the center in which case I would, I'd use similar steps but I'd go about drawing it slightly differently so I'm gonna draw a line a guideline um, uh, I, I should actually switch I'm gonna switch because it's all gonna be yellow so let me switch to color two here and draw a guideline down the center and that's the hole that's the the opening between the rails right so so I wanna, but that's the center point of the opening so if the the space is two in uh, sorry if the space is four inches total then at the halfway point it's going to be two inches on each side so I'm going to offset two enter and there's going to be the edge of my first rail so I'm going to get th this this middle line I'm going to delete now I don't no longer need Need that. I could have, you know, an easier way than an offset, I should just move that line two inches over because I only need that. But, you know, you live and learn. So now I'm going to offset this line three inches to be my rail. So I'll go offset three. I could also copy, but I'm going to offset three and make sure it goes to the right because that's the way I'm building this. And then now I got a full gap, which is the full four inches. So I'm going to go offset four, enter. Click offset four, enter. And then three inches again. So offset three, enter. Now at this point, I could keep going, 
in doing offset and in in changing between three and four inches. But once you have two of anything built and you want to copy it a bunch of times, a really cool trick is just to go to the copy tool. You're going to go to copy, and what I'm going to do is you're going to select the furthest one to the side, which is in this case is the right rail. I'm going to, I'm going to select both sides of it. I'm going to hit enter, and, but I'm going to use my best point as the first one. So over here on the left-hand side, I'm going to move it to the second one. So I know I'm copying it the full distance right across, which is seven inches because it's the three plus the four, but it doesn't matter. You don't need to know that. And then I'm going to go to the next one, to that edge I just set, and to the next edge I just set, and to the next edge I just set. And actually, I'm just going to end it there. So I'm going to hit there. So actually, I can see in this case, actually, the I probably was wrong on that, that actually the middle point must be a rail because you're never going to put a little bit of rail. You don't want to go over four inches for this railing because that will be against code. So I can't erase this, really. I have to move this all over. Um, and so... If this is the center point, now that really means that I want the midpoint of this thing to be in the center. So I'm going to go to move. I'm going to select all of this. This is how, again, I thought I could read it from the drawing. Clearly, I mistake by looking at it. But when you're drawing for the first time, you don't have a drawing to look at. So this is literally what happens. So I'm going to enter, enter to move all of these. And I could do it a couple ways. But what I'm going to do here is first I'm going to move the edge over to here. Now I'm going to move again. I want to move it all again. So I'm going to hit move. I'm going to do a shortcut. If I do P, enter, it's going to do the entire bit of selections that I just did. Uh, so, so there we go. I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to move it over an inch and a half. An inch and a half because that's half of my railing height, or if you did, or width. If you didn't know what the width was, I could draw a line, a guideline, and move to midpoint if I wanted to. But I thought the 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 path was easy enough, the math was easy enough. So now we can see. In, in fact, I do have this little opening here, just as I should. And it's the opening that should be reduced. And I can remove this guideline, and I can hit enter. And now I'm just going to mirror. I could do the whole process again, but I could copy it over, or I could just use mirror, which is probably the quickest way. So I'm going to go to mirror. I'm going to select all these lines. I don't need to mirror the center one because that's not going to change. So just all of them except for the center one. If you mirror the center one, you won't notice. Nothing will really happen, but it'll just save myself a little bit of time there. Um, and so I'll mirror, pull up, and hit enter for not deleting it. And there we go. And now we can see here this edge is the edge of the house. Um, and it is in the opening. This is the opening here. So in fact, I will see that line here, but I do have to trim it out between the upper trim and the lower trim in the rail. So, so I'm going to trim. So I'm going to hit the trim button and hit enter just to make everything a cutting edge. Uh, click there, and I click there, and I click there. And that's how you get the railing. Um, and really, again, that's how you do anything that's multiple space like that. Uh, that would be a good trick to do. So, so with that, actually, I thought I was going to do more. I might actually just make it simpler. I'm going to go to another video to show the rest of the trim and the, the hatching, uh, which is the siding for this building. So, so I'll see you in that video.